All right, guys, this is a quick one. Um, video four is all about how do we integrate when we have general exponential functions. So in the past video, we did it just for exponential functions that were an e to the power. Um, so today we're going to do it for bases other than e. And so here's your general rules. If you've got something to a power of x, that's what makes it exponential, um, that's 1 over ln of your base times your base to the x. Or again, if it's a u, if there's a function in there, same idea, but with u. And of course, plus c. So I've got two examples, and then you're on your own. OK, so in this first example, we've got the integral of 3 to the x. Again, this is an, an exponential function. Why? Because the x is in the exponent. So this is not a power function. That's a power function is when you have the base is x, and then you have it to a power, like 2 or something like that. <clears throat> so this is an exponential function because the x is in the exponent. So our rule says this is the antiderivative of this would be 1 over ln of your base times your base to the x. And then, of course, plus c. So we could write it a little nicer and say 3 to the x over ln 3 plus c. OK, in my second example, we bumped it up. We still have 3 to the power of something, but notice this exponential function has a function within the exponential function. So, OK, we're going to let that exponential part be u and see if it's helpful. So we take the derivative of both sides. We get 2x. We multiply by our dx. And let's take a look. Uh, let's replace our u's. Remember, you should be writing this integral every time until you actually do the integral. So I've got x times 3 to the now u dx. If I separate the u stuff from the x stuff, I can tell I'm going to need to replace x dx. I almost have that over here. Um, but I would need 1 half. Um, some of you are having t trouble um, solving for this. Remember, you can also think of this like, I want to get rid of that 2, so I'm going to multiply both sides by 1 half. You can kind of think of it like that, and that's how I get this. Um, so just so you know, just kind of showing you a little different way of approaching that. So this side is x dx. Okay, so that means this part right here is replaceable with 1 half du. The 1 half is a constant, so that can come out front. So this becomes 3 to the u du, and now I have a pure exponential function. So the antiderivative of that, leave the 1 half out front, would be 1 over ln of your base. Your base is still a 3 times 3 to the u plus c. Now there's a little bit we can do. Obviously, we need to plug back in the u. So I've got 3 to the x squared all over 2 ln 3 um, plus c. But I can actually, you should remember your properties of logs, which say if you have a coefficient on your log, that can become a power on the inside. So to finish this, I might write 3 to the x squared over ln of 3 squared or ln of 9. So you're going to see that happen in like a multiple choice scenario. So sometimes you might not see it like this. You might see it as ln of 9. And so you just have to kind of be aware that you can mess with that a little bit. Okay, it's time for your problem sets tomorrow in class, and we will go over some other hard examples there, but you get the general idea. Good luck.